Well, we have a unique challenge for August, and that is one that I came up with. <laughs> and that is pouring on a three-dimensional object. You can find additional information below the video in the description. Just click on that down arrow or on the words, show more. And don't forget to subscribe to get notice of next month's challenge. There is another part of the challenge, and that is that you have to use your favorite color and your least favorite color in this pour, and no more than five colors. So let's see what I can come up with. Plum is my favorite. Orange is so damn ugly. And thought about using neon orange because I, I like it, but the rule was your least favorite color. Because it was orange and plum, it reminded me of Halloween, I decided that for my other colors I was going to include my black lace, which is mixed with blaster silicone, interference red, regular orange, plum, and neon green. And I'm going to add a little bit of treadmill oil. I'm going to add a couple of drops. Well, that was more than a couple. To each of these colors and stir them lightly. That shit's sticky. Have you noticed that this is a really super sticky medium? <laughs> between GAC 800 and treadmill oil and the worst of all Liquitex pouring medium you are always covered in something sticky I want to do a regular dirty pour so I'm going to try to give the orange a chance not necessarily only put it on the bottom though it's tempting now, from the side, it looks like everything in the cup is plum, but it's not. <laughs> from the top, you can tell. I'll show you. No cell activity in there. I don't know if cells will add to a three-dimensional object or not. Ooh, that's pretty in Halloween. <laughs> I'm very nervous because I've never done this before. That stem is really in the way. All right, it seems to really like the grooves. <laughs> I want it to get on the whole pumpkin. I think I needed more paint. Whoa! Well, I did not intend to do that. Now, my rules didn't say that I had to have 100% coverage, so I kind of like it like this, but that's not sufficient. Okay, there's a lot here, so I'm going to just... I should have watched another one of Susan's videos before I tried this. I've watched them, but I didn't memorize her technique. She does a lot of um, cups. Uh, you know, those like insulated coffee cups? They're pretty cool. Oh, that looked like chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody in our group hated me after I came up with this challenge, but next month Sarah's in charge, so it could be worse. <laughs> we love you, Sarah. I guess it's okay if it looks like mud on the bottom.
don't know if you can even see me messing around at the bottom. Anything with my arm in the way like that. Yeah, this is all looking real chocolatey down here. I think I'll pour the other colors one at a time over the top. Maybe if I had painted this with some, with a layer of pour paint first, it would have, I don't know, who knows. I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't know how to do this and show you at the same time. I hope this chocolate color is as pretty when it's dry since it's covering the whole damn pumpkin. I cuss too much. I'll put a pretty color on now. <laughs> okay, don't ever get a stem that leans. It's kind of in the way. I think I want to save all this paint for a new brown. I don't like the brown I have mixed up very well, very much. So I think this would be way prettier. bit here to drip. All right, see ya later. God, I hope it doesn't all run off. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Please leave it any questions or comments you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.